Today, I just want to show you a quick CTRT exercise to give you a little bit of uh, some tips that you can use when you're doing your own CTRT. So um, today I'm looking at the admin area under settings repository. There's this area called inactive project deletion. And the idea is that um, you tell it, hey, any projects that are bigger than this size, delete them after this amount of time and send a warning email after this amount of time. It's a little bit confusing and it can be, um, the UI could be made more clear, but we're just gonna talk about the documentation. So this is what it looked like um, in 15.8, the last release. It started with some text and then it had a little bit about the API and the UI. Um, it started to discuss the actual settings that are in the UI. So delete inactive projects is the checkbox. And then the other ones are the settings underneath that checkbox. Um, it was mixing API content here. These are API endpoints. And then it started to give an example of using the API, which you can also do in the uh, UI. And then it had some tasks that are actually the steps for how you would get to that area of the UI and a little more information. So when we started working on this, um, we had a version of it that, again, had some intro text concept. And then the task um, still had this information at the top. And if you're trying to use the UI, this is a little bit out of order in a way. Um, delete inactive projects is actually, you know, the top level thing. So that should be part of the task. So to um, enable this thing, and it doesn't have to be configure, meaning turn it on or off. It's just turn it on. We just want people to come here, turn it on. You could do a separate task for turning it off if you really wanted. But for the most part, we just need to get people to the thing to turn it on. And then we can give them a little more information about some of the fields if it's useful or interesting. Um, but we moved those UI, or sorry, we moved the little API strings that were here. You know, they're in the API content, so they don't need to be here. And we made the example about the UI and not the API, because by default, all of these docs are about the UI. If you have stuff that's about the API, it belongs in the API docs. So, um, but back to this task, um, we got to this thing where it says configure the necessary options. Well, at that point, it doesn't say anything about the necessary options or about the options at all, um, because that was actually up here. So if we turn this, if we change this into just turning this thing on, we tell them to pick that checkbox because they need to select it. Um, then it, when we looked more closely, at these settings, the minimum size, projects smaller than this threshold. Well, if you look at this just as inactive projects that exceed, so the language is trying to be helpful, but it's actually not adding anything. And in fact, it might be confusing a little bit. So, and also if the UI changes, it's immediately gonna be out of date. So we don't necessarily need to reiterate what's in the UI. People are gonna look in the UI, they're gonna to attempt to fill these things out and they're gonna wonder how the thing works. But if they don't understand, the UI will need to be improved. And we know for a fact that having the content in the UI is much better, much more helpful than linking to our content. So just to show you the final version, we just get straight into it. You configure it, you select that checkbox, you configure the settings, and then we get, did give them a little bit of the remaining useful information that was nested in that top section. Um, and then we changed the example to be about the UI. So I wanted to provide you with this link to the style guide. It's called, it's under um, the navigation section, and it's about documenting multiple fields at once. This is probably the best example in this list um, to describe multiple fields just complete the fields. You don't have to tell them every field, but if there's one that has to be a regular expression or there's one that requires a certain role, yes, that's great to call out. Um, 
but we don't need to call out everything. If, if, if it's name, <laughs> you don't have to say must be a name or enter a name for branch name. It's just not necessary. So um, hope that helps you in some way. And thanks for listening.